press the bell button and tap next. All right, so that's this button. Well. I'm sorry, I, I know. Back at you with another doorbell video. You may have already seen the Morecam J2 video doorbell. This is a Morecam J7 battery powered doorbell camera. Now the J7 has a slightly smaller battery than the J2, and uh, of course, looks a little bit different as well. As we normally do here, we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We'll go around the features shown on the box, then we'll unbox this thing. We'll get the app installed, go through the setup process of uh, setting up this doorbell with your app, and then go through setting up the doorbell at your door and what it'll actually look like for you and, and what you would see if you were gonna use the J7 battery powered doorbell camera. Before we get started, please click that like button for me, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Let's get into the J7 Morecam doorbell camera unboxing and setup. All right, so this is the Morecam J7 battery powered doorbell camera. Play it anywhere, monitor anywhere. 100% wire free, no cords, no wires, no worries. 1080p HD, wireless chime, full duplex two-way audio, clear night vision, PIR motion detection, rechargeable battery built in, real-time alerts, cloud storage, and local storage. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. Smart home video doorbell on the side, the same smart home video doorbell on the other side. And then the back has more information about your features. So the 100% wire free, 1080p, built in long lasting rechargeable 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So about, you know, equivalent to the latest iPhone or Samsung. Advanced PR motion detection and night vision up to 33 feet, 166 degree wide viewing angle, port two way audio communication straight from smartphone, port local storage by micro SD card, not included of course, but up to 128 gigs. Free app provided supports remote view on Android or Apple. And if you have any issues, there's a customer support contact email. So let's uh, let's break this plastic seal. Uh, up. Oh, it's got a sleeve. Okay, so we'll slide it out of the sleeve. Uh, notice screw and tools are under the plastic lining. I've I've never seen a like sticker like that but it's needed more than you know you can't you can't imagine how many people open stuff and don't even like get through all the packaging so user manual right on top very detailed with pictures and everything else i, I love when they do that then we have some stickers 24 7 monitoring by Morecam security i always like stickers there we go look at this Here's the chime. Oh, that's what the batteries are for. Look at that. So the chime is powered by regular AA batteries. And then this for our notice, uh, we got a screwdriver here. We got some double-sided tape. We've got a micro USB cable and all of our screws would need. And then last but certainly not least is the actual camera here. How do you get it out of... So that's a pretty easy uh, mounting option here. You've got this plate that takes two of the screws. This plate gets mounted to your wall. And then this is literally just able to like sit right in here. And then they also include a screw to put at the bottom to secure it to the plate so that somebody can't just come up and yank your doorbell off. Very nice. So nothing uh, really around the doorbell besides that screw hole for security. Now let's see what we have here. This is the micro SD card slot protected by a thick piece of rubber there. I don't think any water is going to get through that. And then on this other side, looks like that's a speaker where they can hear you when you're at the doorbell. Yeah, an on off switch, a reset button, and the SD card is on this side. Very nice. Peel off before you, so I know. All right, well, I think that will do it for the Morecam J7 battery-powered doorbell camera. Now we're going to get the app and uh, go through the setup process and show you some uh, footage from this thing. Now, this doorbell has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside of it, and also it supports micro SD cards up to 128 gigs, which slide right inside here next to this reset and on-off button. So let's go ahead and slide this to on. It should have some... Yeah, we got some power there. Now, on this side is your micro USB slot. That's to uh, recharge the device. And then I actually noticed this has the batteries and even comes with the batteries. But I also see that there's a 
micro USB slot on the bottom of this. So I believe you could use a micro USB cable here and you would not have to use the batteries. I could be wrong there though. I'm not fully certain, but um, we're gonna test it out. So let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. If I plug this in, so I don't see anything. I don't really know. Oh, we do have life. All right, so I guess let's go through the uh, setup process first then we can actually get to roll in with this doorbell. I see they're both flashing red, so that's gotta be a good sign. All right, now to find the app, it's always easiest. And uh, right here inside of your booklet, you can see the Cloud Edge app for iOS and Android. So we're gonna scan the Android one, there it is. And now we can install the Cloud Edge app. Now, of course, I won't show you this portion, but once you get the app installed, sign up, create you an account. It's going to need either your phone or your email or whatnot. Cloud Edge. And then, yes, looks like you can sign in with Facebook, but uh, we'll create an account now. Small little side note here. It actually had a pop-up that said logging in from the same account on multiple devices is not supported. Just something I do with other accounts, so I'm not entirely certain why. All right, let's see about adding this device. So we're going to click Add Device. Floodlight camera, wired camera, base, battery camera, camera, doorbell. Nice, they got a lot of options. Follow the instruction manual to power on the device. Press the bell button and tap next. All right, so that's this button. Whoa. So this definitely works with a USB cable. You don't have to use the included batteries. Using the supply, reset the device. Please wait for the LED indicator to flash red and tap next. All right. You probably just heard that little noise it made. Wait for the LED indicator to flash red. All right, there we go. Now it's flashing red. So we'll click next. We'll allow it while we're using the location. Now it's our Wi-Fi network. Put in our Wi-Fi password. And uh, now we're gonna scan a barcode phone will be heard when successfully scanned. So yes, it did uh, It did scan it, so. Ooh, and now I see it's going blue. Look at that, I already found. That was, that was a pretty quick pairing process. So we're gonna rename this to uh, J7 Doorbell, and select Done. And there we go, that was uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Now let's uh, select our doorbell. Well, look at that picture, pretty nice. I believe that recorded. So, um, I mean, I think there's nothing wrong with the picture from what I can see. You've got a screenshot option here, intercom, record, your Wi-Fi signal. We got 62% up here, which is more than enough. Your battery percentage, and then more settings uh, over here. Device version, oh, it needs an update. So there we go, That's, uh, that, was, that was very, very easy. And you kind of heard, you kind of heard how loud this was. There is different volume controls and tones on here. If you want to use the batteries or, um, so you can plug this in or use the batteries. That's, that's kind of your call. Just as a reminder, this is full HD 1080p. It does have a night vision mode, motion detection. And uh, as I showed, you can put a micro SD card in here up to 128 gigs for local storage or uh, use the cloud. Me personally, I'll always go with the 128 gigs of uh, local storage, just much better in my opinion. So that should do it for the Morecam J7 battery powered doorbell camera setup. All right, well that's gonna do it for the Morecam J7 battery powered doorbell camera. So from what I can see, this is truly a stellar doorbell video camera with lots and lots of features. From the full HD video, to the motion detection, to the 128 gigabyte S micro SD card support, this doorbell camera is truly great. Also, with the included mount, it has a screw at the bottom so you can secure it in so somebody can't just come up and take it off your door. It has great audio video quality, and it also has cloud storage for if you don't want to use the micro SD card slot. Considering that the chime is separate and it can be either battery powered or powered through that micro USB port, you don't have to fool with wiring in your house or anything like that. You can literally stick this on the side of your house, secure it in, plug that up or put the batteries in, and boom, you have a doorbell inside your home. Great for the people who don't have doorbells already. And no, you cannot hardwire this one in any way. It has to be battery powered with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so this should last you a decent amount of time.
But that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully this video showed you the setup process of the Morecam J7 video doorbell. If you have any questions, of course, leave them below in the comments. I'll of course also have a link below if you wanna grab one of these for yourself. And I think that will do it. We will see you in the next video. Click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and I'll see you next time. Deuces.